Hey, this is Books on Books. Join me for a walk alongside this beautiful creek. This area of Tennessee is, is covered in all these beautiful little hollows where creeks of various size tumble on down the rocks, cut their paths. It's beautiful. You get things like this weeping wall right here fantastic area but right now I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about 1984 1984 is is it's a horror story in, in every single way it is absolutely a horror story um, nothing nothing attractive or desirable um, happens to the characters it's uh, 1984, I see, as a warning, a cautionary tale. Um, a cautionary tale of what could happen if government in this modern world has total and complete control. Now, because of are are conquering the ability to communicate with each other over vast vast uh, distances and spaces in time uh, with, with the way that we can record uh, the, the world has been completely transformed now if a government has complete and total control of everything you get something that looks a little bit like 1984 I'd say the closest thing to 1984 in our world today is North Korea. And North Korea has complete control of the state. And in North Korea, the way I understand it, if someone has any kind of a dispute with somebody else, you could easily accuse that other person of some kind of subterfuge and suspicion is enough suspicion is enough to get somebody locked up and remove them from society silence them and we're not quite in a, in a 1984 world if you ask me there's still an awful lot of freedom we choose the surveillance we put up cameras in our own houses i've got this camera Everything, everything has a camera now, right? Just about every electronic has a camera and a microphone. So the ability to have total surveillance exists. It's there. Uh, fortunately, we've held on to our freedoms, at least enough of them to not be under the control of our government. But we need to be careful because in the name of of safety and security people are pushing all kinds of policies into our government into law and once something's a law it can be used against you you could be accused of breaking that law I think we need to be careful we live in a world of wow look at that waterfall what a beautiful area we live in a world where there's nothing more important than our individual freedom, our individual, our individual freedom to choose what to believe, what to think, how to act, what to pursue, where to give value. You know, we, we, we do all those things individually. We don't do those things as a group. We form groups where there is agreement, but we cannot ever compromise the freedom of the human soul. Um, 1984 warns us, don't give the government a lot of control. The government's not your friend. The government's there to keep the peace, keep people getting along. We decide how much we want to 
allow that government to have control. But there could be a tipping point. If we give it, give the government too much power, uh, thus goes the rest of society. And, and if you do anything against the government, you're an outlaw. So I suggest to everybody individually seek out what your values are. Come to an understanding of the importance of freedom. Alongside valuing truth, also value tolerance to be able to um, listen to and not, uh, well, I mean, we're in a constant battle of ideas and, and the ideas need to be able to have a voice so we can hash it out. So let's keep doing that. Let's, let's keep our freedoms so important let's keep seeking out the truth the last thing we want is to become our own version of george orwell's 1984. hey thanks for joining me on books on books i'm books we talked a little bit just now about 1984 some of my thoughts some of my musings after reading after reading the book and i highly recommend you go out and read it yourself Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like this, subscribe, share, like, all that good stuff. Thank you. Bye.